you know, sometimes I get the question of how many backpacks do you really need? And to be honest with you, I like a good three-day pack. I'll, I definitely want something small that I can have a one-day pack. And then I like something a little smaller for EDC. This is perfect for just grabbing and going. If you're going to take a hike with the kids, with the family, uh, overnight camping trip, this is a perfect size just to be able to run and to stay light. The Maxpedition Typhoon. This is actually a pretty new product from Maxpedition. It's compact, it's easy to carry, and yet it does carry quite a bit of gear in these little packs. I mean, Maxpedition is just, it's just cool looking gear, and yet it's really functional and it's very rugged. I have a number of Maxpedition packs and I just, Maxpedition is my favorite. Now I'm gonna go through a lot of the specs and a lot of the features of this cool bag but you can go to maxpedition.com and get all the different information more detailed than what I'm going to show. It's made from a thousand denier uh, ballistic nylon, very resistant, in fact it has a DuPont coating on it, and then it has a triple polyurethane coat that we're going to look at in a minute to keep it from getting any moisture or any water on it. It's pretty much waterproof. Now because this is triple polyurethane coated, it just drains right off. The only thing it attracts any water is right here in the webbing. But underneath is the Kodura that's been triple coated. So you're going to get a waterproof system. I mean, it's just like water off a duck's back. So it's just a really great pack to have outdoors because water is everywhere outdoors. Of course, first thing you're going to have this Y little harness. And this is really a security harness because when you put this, lock it down, it's really difficult to get to the zippers. And so when you're out and about and you have your pack sitting aside, it just makes it a little more difficult for someone to get into. And this Y harness is removable if you don't want it because it can be, if you're getting in and out of your pack, it can kind of get in the way. But of course, then again, it does give you the security. There are a number of outside pockets just right up front. And of course, this Y harness has a Duraflex buckle and really secure and fairly quiet for a buckle system. There's a nice upper pocket here at the top and here I just have a poncho. I have a few things left in here just to show for demonstration, but just a big open pocket to be able to get a lot of just your essentials, be able to reach in and grab things that you might need first and foremost. Has the YKK zippers, very secure, and has the paracord pulls. The pocket underneath is a larger pocket, and it only comes out halfway, but it's made more for an admin pouch. You have sleeves here for you know, little notebooks and pens, maps, different papers. And then here at the front of the pocket, you have a mesh sleeve here to be able to see what you have in here, but it also secures your items. Then, of course, between the two pockets, you do have a space right here to be able to keep other things. Here's a little side pocket on one side. This is great for really small binoculars. In fact, I typically keep binoculars in this little pouch, or you can even throw extra magazines if you want to keep them kind of subdued without having them show through this little sheath, which I have a flashlight here in the sheath, little jet beam M3X. This is an excellent flashlight, by the way. Has a nice Velcro tab right here. It also has elastic bands here to just secure the light or whatever you keep in this little pouch. On the other side, you have all this PALS or Molly webbing, and then you have an elastic band here that has a secure cord where you can adjust this if you want to just secure something to the outside of your bag. It has a really great double-stitched grab handle. One of the things about Maxpedition specifically is it's built very ruggedly, and everything is either double, triple-stitched, box stitching, uh, it's just really overdone in a sense, but when you're out and about and you're doing things, especially on an everyday basis, you really want that security of it being really top-notch, stitched very well, and able to hold whatever you put in here. There are also some eyelets on either side. The shoulder straps have webbing here and here and also at the top. Another look at the box stitching again. Very well done, double-stitched in all the stress points, and these are also taped and seamed behind here and the straps also are very wide makes it really comfortable riding on your shoulder and has clo close foam padding just to keep it really comfortable and on the back of the straps this material here just keeps the moisture off your body especially in the hot sun you get sweaty this just wicks away the moisture and it has these panels to be able to keep that airy so it rides a little bit off your back and then it gives you a good protection 
and this is really soft. All this is closed foam as well. So whatever's in your pack is not going to be pressing on your back. Now on the bottom here we have some about a one inch webbing. This is fully adjustable with a lot of extra to be able to put maybe even a small sleeping bag or some kind of bivy sack to be able to keep that at the bottom of your bag or other things. Whatever you're carrying, slip this in. This is great for a motorcycle, for riding your bicycle, for day hikes, day packs. Of course the PALS Molly compatible webbing is all the way up front and then here as well and a hook and loop field right behind this set of webbing. And here I've got a small little American flag. In fact these are actually also available at Maxpedition. You have a little snap and a little security loop here as well. And then we have double zippers to get into the main part of the pack which breaks open. Uh, here you see the uh, quilted padding right here on the back. Uh, here you have a small loop here just to hook your keys or whatever you want to keep handy. Very roomy and there is a lot of room right here. This is really a great space to be able to really pack a lot of gear. And then we have another mesh sleeve that's just open. You can put your goods here and then we have a zippered compartment right here and it's really very deep. Drops way down all the way down to here. You can, you can see right here this is where it ends the pocket and there's a little bit of space up behind there in case you want to slide something up all the way to the top now it comes in a number of colors this is my personal favorite i love the khaki with the foliage accents i think it just really contrasts well but you can also get this in just uh, khaki you can also get it in the foliage black and od green and of course again you can go to the maxpedition website and look at all the different colors on the bag and that's one of the best ways to tell what color really suits what your needs are. They run $137.95 on the Maxpedition website and some may say man that's kind of excessive but for what you get and the stitching and the way these things are made and they're just super rugged this will last you a lifetime and of course you can get a 10% discount if you suit in the coupon code Tim always honors that no matter what you get from Maxpedition so check out Maxpedition.com it's a great website great source for all different kind of bags to suit about any need that you can possibly imagine in the great outdoors. So get off the couch, get off the computer, get outside and experience the real world. It's worth it. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Good secure straps on the bottom. You could actually put a small backpack. Okay. On the bottom, there's webbing. Uh, this is adjustable, and you can put even even a small back. It also has closed foam padding uh, with the um, whatever these are. What are these? And here we have a little friend, our little worm friend. Of course, he's ready to turn into a moth, little inchworm, and we're gonna flick him. <laughs>